All right, so I'm finally getting the uh, old body style 97 work truck put back together here. Uh, I bolted the fenders, bumper, all those pieces on to try and get it so I can test drive it and it has a misfire. So I'm gonna walk you through how I diagnose and test for misfire when you don't have any codes. So I'm gonna get it started up so you can hear it. not terrible from here. Oh, there you can hear it cut out. Bad. We got a dead cylinder. So, let's take a look at it and see what we can find. All right, so it has a strong odor of gas, like you could smell fuel. And I'm going into codes, just to see if I have any codes. Nothing in history. Nothing there. We also don't have freeze frame on our data on this mod. Well, we have it here, I guess. Or misfire, not freeze frame. But it's not showing me a misfire. But it definitely has one. You can kind of see it wobbling. And you can hear it out the exhaust and you can smell it. There's definitely a dead cylinder, so I'm going to get the oscilloscope on it and find out which uh, cylinder's misfiring. So here's the engine idling. I can see two is jumping around pretty crazy. Eight, five, actually not too many of the cylinders look real good at all. Uh, when I snap the throttle. Yeah, two's going like. feel like I have a problem with cylinder two to start here. I think so I don't electrocute myself. Yeah, because it's, it's missing pretty terribly. I think it's going to be fuel related. But I'm going to pull cylinder two. Well, actually doesn't even feel hot. Uh, should have a temperature gun that works. Here we go. Uh, Alright, we're at like 325 and 350. I don't know if you can see that there. And then the front is at 150. On cylinder one, we're at like 230, 240. But two is definitely much cooler. I'm pretty sure two is my misfire. Looking at it here, it's like there's no burn time at all. I think I have something fuel injector related on cylinder two. Um, let me do from something thinking for a minute here. Okay, so I pulled the cylinder two plug. Um, it doesn't seem wet. <laughs> I can't smell any fuel on it. Uh, My guess is that we're not getting any fuel in this hole. 
that the injector is not spraying into this cylinder just from what I'm seeing on the spark plug and what I'm seeing with this slope cutting off like you can see the burn line here how it's just kind of a straight line before it turns up and this one almost instantly turns up all right so since I have the plug out I went ahead and attached the plug to the dipstick with the clamp and threw the compression gauge in just so I can start it up and see that I got some compression in the cylinder which oh you know what I don't have a whole lot of compression in that for a cranking test it's only giving me about 50 Got a good spark. Yeah, I'm going to say that cylinder is extremely lean and not getting any fuel. I don't think I can have that much compression and the spark that good and have any other kind of a problem. Especially because you can see here that without the compression, the line's completely flat. And these stay flat when they have fuel to burn and then they ramp up when they don't. And they're all pretty decent. And now that I took cylinder two and attached it outside of the engine, it looks better than it did when it was in the engine and I snap tested it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that injector and see how I can test for that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I hooked up my pressure gauge. I'm going to go ahead and restart the engine now that I've put the spark plug and the wire back on and back in the engine. Let's see. Fuel pressure is right at 60. Leaking. All right, we're going to shut it off and see if it holds pressure. And which the fuel pump, the gas tank, the sending unit, all that stuff, that's all brand new. So this should hold pressure. And awesome, it's sitting right at 55. Okay. So next step. Does my scan tool give me the ability to fire an injector? Yeah, look, I can see just from starting it from that little second, you can already see how much leaner that line is. Anyway, home, scanner, functional test, injector balance, awesome. Sure, yes it is, continue. Continue. Okay, so here's injector one. Fuel pump energizes. Showing 65. Continue. Drops all the way down to about 53. So we went 65 to 53 on one. So here's injector two. Sitting at about 65, uh, a little less, about 63 right there. And it did not hardly drop at all. There is no drop. So I could hear it clicking electrically. Um, I'm going to make sure you can hear that. Let me restart this. Okay, I had to restart it because you're only allowed to fire the injector once per ignition cycle. So I had to shut the system all down and restart the key or recycle the key off. Okay, and now injectors two back is back here again. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, the fuel pump just energized. And I'm gonna hopefully get you close enough you can hear the injector. Um, I'm gonna set the phone right on this.
little buzzing right there. Hopefully you picked it up. Nothing happened on my needle. It didn't drop at all, but the injector fired inside. It is plugged. All right, so I have to debate whether or not I'm gonna to try to do an injection cleaning service on this and take a gamble that it's actually gonna work, or I have the engine that I took out of the parts truck and it ran great. So I could steal the fuel injector assembly out of this engine and put it in that one without too, too much difficulty. And it would probably be cheaper for the intake gasket than what the cleaning solution cost to clean the injector. All right, so I need some parts off this guy. So I'm gonna disassemble it and uh, Go ahead and start with pulling all the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the upper plenum on and we'll have to remove the fuel lines in order to get this plastic upper case off and i'll show you what the injector looks like inside okay so i've gone around and removed all the bolts for the upper plenum everything's loose we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the injector body pushes down in as we pry the uh top of the intake off here just like that and then there's our injector assembly right underneath the intake. So what it is, is each one of these, you can see down in here, are gonna fire individual injectors that are part of this entire assembly. And then the injector fuel comes through the tube and gets pushed into the intake manifold. So we're just gonna swap out that entire injector body because I know when I pulled this engine out, it ran fine and it should make my other truck run good. All right, so I'm gonna get started with disassembling this. We're gonna get the uh, air intake pulled off of the throttle body and we're gonna go ahead and start undoing the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the plastic upper intake to it. And uh, we'll have to remove the fuel lines to get these out of our way, but it should be a pretty easy process to get that injector in there. With the upper intake manifold now removed, I have access to the injector assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of the injector tubes right out of the hole here. And uh, we'll go ahead and swap out that injector housing. All right, so I got the intake all put back together. Uh, fuel lines are connected, plug wires, everything's put back on. I haven't started it yet. It should fire right up and hopefully the misfire is gone. Um, I don't have the key. All right, found the key, and here we go. Uh... Oh, I think it sounds way better. Let's go listen to that tailpipe. Yeah, took care of it. I'd say our misfire is completely gone. For a used injector, it sounds like it's running pretty good. Awesome. So yeah, using an ignition scope is how I found the, the lean cylinder and diagnose the injector, so thanks for watching, like and subscribe.